Hey everyone, Fox 5 Vegas did a clip here about new construction and a problem someone's having. And there's just a lot to unpack here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch this video and react to certain things as they happen. There have been a lot of hurdles new home buyers have had to go through this past year just to get in the front door. From rising interest rates to higher home prices, but it's what's happening after those deals close that's frustrating a lot of buyers getting into new builds. Fox 5's Lauren Martinez joins us live from a newly developed Henderson community with more. Yeah, Kim and John, last year a couple from Hawaii entered a lottery system and they purchased a new built home. So first they mentioned a lottery system. So um, in the last year and a half when inventory is really low, we were in a strong seller's market, even with new construction, they were making buyers enter a lottery system to then potentially get chosen to purchase a home. And then once you get chosen, then you actually have to purchase the house and go through the whole process. So it was really stressful for people. Um, it was, you know, there's no guarantee you were getting a house. So while you were in a lottery system for one house, you were trying to find another house. So it could have put you in a really big bind where maybe you couldn't get another house and you, your name got chosen for the lottery and you go, oh man, I have to move forward with this house because they chose my name. Now their developer said that there would be several construction challenges like labor shortage and uh, supply chain issues. Again, that was a big thing, 2020, 2021, COVID. Um, supply chain issues, um, uh, lumber was high, labor shortages, nobody wants to work. You know, you see that at every single place, every single job out there. Um, and of course they hit the housing market and they may or may not have used that as an excuse to build uh, higher quality homes. But the delay for them to move in was just the beginning of many problems to come. When Alan Mama Clay moved into his new Henderson home, he expected doors to close the right appliances installed, and other cosmetic issues fixed. I, I felt like I had to discover the flaws. Mama Clay and his wife purchased a new home build in May of 2021. They moved from so Hawaii. before I go into too much deep about this, um, he, does says, he did say something right there about he felt like he had to discover some things on his own. Um, when you're buying a new house, you should have representation. You should have your own realtor. It doesn't cost you any extra money. It doesn't save you money not to have it. It's not like the builder is going to uh, lower the price of the house based on not having to pay a realtor commission. Um, what they would have done is that when you, when you don't have a realtor, you are working directly with their sales rep. What they don't tell you is that, yes, you do a builder walkthrough with the, with the builder, um, but you don't have the opportunity. You do have the opportunity. They just don't tell you this to have a third party home inspector to go into the house. So just like if you were to buy a regular house, you would have an inspector go in and look at the house and find all the things wrong with you. You should absolutely get an inspector to go into a new construction home um, so you can find out from a third party what is wrong with the house. Why to Las Vegas in July. Delay, 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 and all of a sudden the mortgage rates went up. Estimated move-in was projected in February, March, and then July of this year. Since he didn't lock an interest rate down, his mortgage went up from $2,350. So two things there with the delay. Um, they don't promise close of escrow date for new construction. And a lot of times they actually have a two year window uh, to complete the house. So they'll give you an estimate, uh, but a lot of times they have two years to finish that house after the date um, and they're allowed to do that for the most part and their contracts are 100 pages long so you should definitely read them uh, regarding the interest rates yeah absolutely you know lock in a rate um, if you have the opportunity to do that um, depending on what lender you're using i don't know if, if they use the builder's lender um, or if they had their own lender for this deal to 2,900. And there was a list of issues he noticed during his walkthrough in May. There's a like hole in the drywall upstairs. Like there's like cracks in the shower. Rent at his month to month apartment was going up. So he felt anxious to close. And I remember on our initial walkthrough, they're like, so you want to close? I guarantee we're going to fix all of this. And we had to, because what are we going to do? Pay another 2,000? So great point there. Um, he has to close in the house because he's, his rent is going up in Hawaii and, and 
you know, what's he gonna do? They, they do have you strung. Something they have in these builder contracts is that when they do their builder walkthroughs, they don't have to fix anything before you move into the house if it doesn't affect you physically taking over ownership of the home and moving into the house. So when you do these final builder walkthroughs, you create a list. If you get a home inspector and you create a list of things that are wrong with the house, um, as long as they don't affect you, the ability for you to close on the house and the ability for you to physically move into the house, um, they don't have to fix it before you move in and they will fix it in a, you know, they, they throw out a term like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a timeline. You know, they will fix it as, as soon as possible. Um, but then situations like this happens where it could take months to actually fix something on a new construction. Right? Uh, in retrospect, I should I should just paint the 2000. Mama Clay moved in May 31st. Almost three months later, there are still issues. My uh, security camera guy came. They had to like crack this open, which which had caused micro cracks all over because they were they were like cemented shut. And he's not the only one. This homeowner just moved into her new build from a different developer in March. I've never showered in this. No one's ever used this yet. And this is what it looks like outside of the shower. Mama Clay suggests home buyers of new builds hire a realtor for representation and visit the site of your new home being built. Don't wait to see the finished product. Just be aware, right? I know what so you see in the- So uh, hire a realtor. Again, the realtor, gets their commission from the seller and they are not going to lower the sales price by a commission they're going to pay. Um, so when you don't have a realtor with you, it's really you and their salesperson who's trying to sell the house and their mortgage company and their title company. So who is really working for you? That's the problem. Um, these contracts they make you sign, they'll send you over a DocuSign of a hundred pages. Like, there's a good chance you might not read the whole thing. Like, let someone read that for you. Let someone lay out all the issues that could happen for you. Let someone tell you it is your right to get an inspection done by a third party. Things like that can help you go for so long in the situation. Um, then obviously, once you move into the house, fixing items, how to fix the items, what's wrong with the house, you know, it's important to have somebody on your side on these deals. Model homes are so nice, and you're the way it's presented, you're gonna expect that quality. Right, model home is so nice. Remember, the model home is gonna be upgraded to the maximum. Um, it, it will be the most, it will probably be the highest price home that's sold that's brand new in that neighborhood until resales happen. And they upgrade it because they want you to go in, and they want you to go, Wow. And then, depending on what builder you're using and what kind of upgrades you're actually allowed in the house. Um, you know, they want the house to actually appraise. There's a lot of items that go into that, a lot of factors. Um, so yeah, in the model home will wow you, but the model home is really just about looking at the floor plan. Does the floor plan make sense for you? Um, maybe checking out some features that they have, um, but that's gonna be maxed out regarding upgrades. Right, and just make sure you gotta put in your work. Now we've reached out to the developer, but we are not disclosing the name. Right now we're still gathering stories from different homeowners, from different developers, and the policies that they have. Reporting live in Henderson, Lauren Martinez, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas. All right, thank you, Lauren. And the homeowner who we spoke to tonight said the developer is making an effort to make repairs, but he thinks that they the are overwhelmed. Home. See, she says something here, I wanna rewind it real fast. Martinez Fox Five using the name. Right now we're still gathering stories from different homeowners, from different developers, and the policies that they have. Reporting like So the policies that they have, a lot of the policies are the same. Exactly what I mentioned. Um, you do your builder walkthrough, you do your inspection, you find things that are wrong with the house. Um, they are supposed to fix it for you, uh, but they're but they are not tied to fixing it prior to you moving in. If it doesn't affect you closing on the house or physically moving into the home. Um, if it's cosmetic or if it's a hole here or a hole there, whatever it might be, um, there's a good chance they're gonna push it because they wanna close. They wanna close this inventory and they wanna sell that house. And again, it's important to have somebody on your side uh, when you're dealing with this. If you guys have any questions about new construction, I do new construction all the time. Um, I help buyers all the time in new construction. I have some escrows right now. Reach out to me. 
Uh, happy to ha happy to answer those questions for you. Um, happy to show you where the new construction is being built in Las Vegas, who the builders are, um, and all the good things like that. So reach out to me if you have any questions.